is he's on his way. Craig, he said to start. He's in the sound. All right. Me, you'll come to order. Uh, please stand for the pledge. Oh, no, roll call, please. Oh, that was Mr. quick. Mr. Craig, President. Here. Mr. Bubba, Vice President. Mrs. Lysich. Here. Mr. Olson. Mr. Tanser. Here. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, we have minutes from the July 16th regular meeting. Are there any additions or corrections? All right, being none, can I have a motion to accept the minutes? So moved. Uh, second? Second. All right. Uh, we have uh, minutes from the August 6th, 2014 special meeting. Are there any additions or corrections? All right, being none, can I have a motion to accept the minutes for August 6, 2014? So moved. Have a second? Second. All right, may I uh, roll call, please? Are we voting on both? Yes. Okay. Mrs. Lysich? Yes. Mr. Tanser? Yes. Mr. Dry? Yes. All right, Treasurer's Report. Um, I don't have any comment on the financial report by fund. On the check payment register, in July we don't write too many checks with this busy ordering. So, uh, page one, about 10 down, Liberty Mutual Insurance, 23000 That's our first quarterly installment for our property and auto insurance and, and liability insurance. Um, that is a new insurance company this year. We were the uh, school plan last year. And we have a new agency, Chase Agency, <coughs> which is uh, local and uh, alumni. So that was a change this year. About five below, you'll see Myers Equipment for $437,000. And of course, we know that's all our five new buses that were bid on back in spring. So, any questions? <coughs> Purchase orders. Um, rather lengthy list. As I said, we're doing a lot of ordering in July. Um, the first few items, first seven or eight, are carryover items from the prior year. And then starting with uh, Agland, those are yearly purchase orders that you'll see on there all year. Um, and those are on page two and three. So they're set up for the entire year. That's why those amounts are rather large, utilities and so forth. Then the new items, start on page 4, the regular purchase orders. And I want to point out on page 15, there's a group of POs starting with Dell Computer, middle of the page, 23,000 down to the third from the bottom, also Dell Computer. Those are all um, the technology purchases for uh, all buildings, and they do total over half a million dollars. And part of the um, promise during the levy campaign was to um, purchase technology and so this is just what those are all about, all buildings. Any questions on any purchase orders? I don't have any comment on the investment report. There are no new investments at the bottom and rates uh, on the above items that stay pretty much the same. So should have a question. We need a motion to approve. We have a motion to approve the treasurer's report. So moved. We have a second. Second. Discussion. Being that, roll call, please. Mrs. Lysich? Yes. Mr. Olson? Yes. Mr. Tanser? Yes. Mr. Pratt? Yes. Uh, that brings us down to comments. Do we have anybody have signed up? Amanda Thacker, Hilltop, Grade 3, Teacher, Effective August 31 of this year. That's your Exhibit 1A in Karen Sizer, CVMS Tutor, Effective, again, August 31 of this year, Exhibit 1B. Uh, based on the recommendation of the superintendent, do I have a motion to accept the resignations? So moved. Second. All right. Discussion.
discussion. Being that, roll call, please. Mrs. Lasich? Yes. Mr. Olson? Yes. Mr. Tanser? Yes. Mr. Cry? Yes. I'd also like to recommend for hire this evening a licensed employee, Marie Rupert, Hilltop, grade 3 teacher, effective 2014-15 school year at $41,738, next year exhibit 2A. Based on the recommendation of the superintendent, do I have a motion to hire uh, Marie Rupert? So moved. Thank you. you both? I'll second. Discussion? That would be you? That would be me. Well, welcome. Thank you. We're really thrilled to have her. Great. Um, Amanda Thacker is going to pursue another career. Uh, she's moving to Columbus, and we wish her the best. Um, but we are thrilled to have Maria on board. We stole her from uh, Borman and uh, did a great job there. But I think she's going to do a better job for us. We challenged her to challenge our kids and help make our goal of uh, being top ten in the state. So uh, we're thrilled to have her on board. Maria is actually coming back to us, right? I am. Yes. You're an alum of what year? 2003. That's right. Oh, I just wanted to check that because you don't look old enough to be out of school. I know. So. <laughs> I have two kids. You should see me when I'm out with them by myself. <laughs> they think you're the sure. Yeah. Yeah. Money so I'll enjoy it while you can. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. Yes. All right. I, I know. I understand. Any further discussion? Is that enough? Being that, I roll call, please. Slasage? Yes. Mr. Olson? Yes. Mr. Chancer? Yes. Mr. Price? Yes. Official now. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Um, I'd like to approve the uh, following list of substitutes. That's your Exhibit 3A through 3F. Those are, uh, again, licensed and classified substitutes. All right. Based on the recommendation of the superintendent. Oh, call transfer. Yes. Right. Based on the recommendation of the superintendent. Do I have a motion to uh, approve the substitutes? So move. I have a second. Second. Discussion? Uh, could you call the roll, please? Mr. Yes. Mr. Olson? Yes. Mr. Chancellor? Yes. yes. Again, as normal, we would never put substitutes in front of you uh, for, for hire to be with our youngsters without the appropriate certification. So they do have those. I'd um, like to recommend higher personnel, classified employees. Uh, we have Cheryl Mauck at C.H. Campbell and Hilltop Office A, two hours per day, $13.04 per hour. That's your exhibit number four. And Kay Williams, um, all the way down through, we have paraprofessionals for choral and band, two through 11. Based on the recommendation of the superintendent, do I have a motion? for the hiring of the classified personnel. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Being that, roll call, please. Mrs. Lysage? Yes. Mr. Olson? Yes. Mr. Chancer? Yes. Mr. Fry? May I make a comment, though? It wasn't really a discussion, but the folks I'm particularly aware of at band, these are top-notch people. These are all former, uh, for the most part, retired band directors. And they come from uh, Poland and Austin Town and Fordman and all over the place. And these are outstanding people. We're lucky to get them for that. We're lucky to get them and lucky to have a booster group that can, can support that. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. um, also, like to make a recommendation for higher extracurricular uh, positions. That's your exhibit number five. Do you have those in front of you? I have extra here. If you can. I have printed copies here. <laughs> Those extracurricular people are uh, Chris Jennings, assistant speech and debate coach, uh, less than two years' experience at $825, and that is also supported by an outside organization. Megan Shively, interact advisor at 1374, again, less than two years' experience. And a non-licensed extracurricular, Jason Berucci, seventh grade volunteer coach at Nova. Based on the recommendations of the superintendent, do I have a motion to accept the extracurricular hires? So moved. I have a second. Second. Discussion? I'd like to note one thing, Mr. Superintendent, that uh, there is an asterisk missing next to Megan Shively that Interact is supported by uh, Rotary. Yes, it is. 
Yes, it is. Thank, Thank you. you for noticing that. All right. Hey, you were late. You only get to talk once, so you <laughs> one in next month's he's allocation. Add, he's, he's adding. He's adding. This is, this is good. He'll stuff. be done with the year. I thought, I thought it was one. Per per one down for next month. I thought it was once per section. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That's uh, all I have. Is that it? Keep yeah. track of that, Patty. That's good. <laughs> all right. That. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Leisich? Yes. Mr. Olson? Yes. Mr. Tanzer? Yes. Yes. I'd like to accept the resignation of the classified employee, Tara Moore, bus driver, effective September 1 of 14. That's your exhibit number 10. Based on the recommendation of the superintendent, do I have a motion to accept the resignation of Tara Moore? So moved. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. All right. Discussion? Roll call, please. Mrs. Lysons? Yes. Mr. Olson? Yes. Mr. Chancer? Yes. Mr. Fry? Yes. I'd also like to uh, recommend for approval Gemsters Adaptive PE, $40 per class for this coming school year, 1415. That's your exhibit number six. Based on the recommendation of the superintendent, do I have a motion to approve the Gemsters for uh, physical education of $40 per class? Uh, I'll move. Thank you. You're welcome. I need a second. Second discussion. Now, based on that, my motion, um, can you tell me a little bit about what that is? Of course. We have youngsters that need adaptive physical education uh, to meet IEP goals, to meet needs um, of physical, possible physical impairments or um, special needs in that area. And can you give me an example of what that might be? Well, it could be a youngster that has a... No, uh, not the youngster. I mean the activity The itself. activities, it could be tossing a ball back and forth. It could be rolling a ball across the floor, um, hand-eye coordination working on. It could be some footwork. It could be, again, um, motor skills that, that youngsters need some of. It's tailored to the youngster. Each, each, each person is different. Yeah. And Gymsters is an outside organization that specializes in that? Yes, it is. Okay. To fulfill the requirements that on those items. Because they, yeah, they need that special care. Thank you. All right. Any further discussion? Uh, may we have a roll call? Mrs. Lysich? Yes. Mr. Olson? Yes. Mr. Cancer? Yes. Mr. Frost? Yes. I'd like to recommend the approval of an out-of-state overnight field trip request by our Cantor Speech and Debate team to Sylvania, Ohio, Thursday, January 8th through Saturday, January 10th of 2015 in order to participate in the Invitational Speech and Debate Tournament, providing transportation and lodging are covered by an outside source. That's your exhibit number seven. Based on the recommendation of the superintendent, do I have a motion to approve the out-of-state overnight field trip request of the Canfield Speech and Debate Team? So moved. Do I have a second? Second. Discussion? Uh, roll call, please. Mr. Lysich? Yes. Mr. Olson? Yes. Mr. Tanser? Yes. Mr. Ryan? Yes. I'd like to recommend the approval of our bus stops for this year as per the enclosed list, exhibit number eight. Has this been sent out and everything to the people, or we had to wait after? We are publicizing. Okay. We will be publicizing. Okay. okay, based on the recommendation of the superintendent, do I have a motion to approve the bus stops as per a closed list? So moved. And do I have a second? Second. Discussion? Okay. Okay. If you don't mind. No. All right. Um, if you notice, um, we have several different bus stops. Um, several. Yes. <laughs> Four hundred and how many? Yeah, several. And, and you're going to notice on here that being consistent with our uh, conversation and what we've shared with the public and the community, we are going back to door to door, kindergarten through fourth grade. Again, all day, every day, kindergarten. To remember. And it is door to door, kindergarten through four. We do have three routes, if you remember. We've talked about that for several months now, but I want to reiterate that to folks. We are going to have uh, a high school route. We will have a five through eight route and a kindergarten through four. And that's what you see in front of you. Centrally located pickup spots still for five through eight, just like last the last few years. And high school will also have centrally located pickup spots. So that's what you see in front of you. So we could have a family that has, let's say, a third grader get picked up at their doorstep. 
but their seventh grader could possibly have to walk, not a long distance, but some distance to a pickup spot. That, that will be a change for this year. If there's a concern on the part of parents about this, will they be able to talk with somebody? We're always willing to, to have conversations. Well, are with we parents. going to publish the number to get to the right person? Of course. Okay. Of course. Yeah. I know sometimes with the phones it's hard to leave messages. It is, but our office in the central office always has someone picking up the phone. So if they're having difficulties at bus garage or at each of the buildings, because we recommend folks start at building level first, if they're having some difficulties getting answers there, feel free to give us a call at the central office. All right, any further discussion? So this is the bus stop right here then, right? At that address? At that address, that's correct. And the number of the bus that's going to be picking it up at the far right. Okay, so can anybody get on that bus, even if they didn't sign that paper? You know, at the last year you had to sign up if you were going to ride a, the bus or not? Well, kindergarten through fourth grade, we're going to need to know because we're going to that. I'm talking about like high school. High school, we have pickup spots centrally located where youngsters are going to be able to be picked up and dropped off. Um, that gave us an idea of how many stops to have. Let's say we need to add a stop because someone is moved or in. Or just somebody's not something. driving that day because their car's not starting. They can go ahead well, and the, get these that stops, bus. These stops are our pickup and drop offs. Okay. Whether we have three at the bus stop or 13. Okay. Yes. So we have a total of, if I do this correctly, 443 different stops between the, all the buildings. You're correct. I do you know I'm correct? Because I knew the number before you even <laughs> It's too fatty. <laughs> <laughs> and further discussion? Uh, being that, roll call, please. Mrs. Lysage? Yes. Mr. Olson? Yes. Mr. Cancer? Yes. Mr. Fry? Yes. I'd also like to recommend for the acceptance of the donations as your, as your enclosed list. That's your exhibit number nine, totaling $5,550. Based on the recommendation of the superintendent, do I have a motion to accept the donations as listed? So moved. Second. Discussion? We want to thank those people for donating. Uh, roll call, please. Mrs. Lysen? Yes. Mr. Olson? Yes. Mr. Cancer? Yes. Mr. Fry? Yes. Again, our Canfield PTO can't say enough for them. They stepped up again. There's some online curriculum that the middle school wanted to offer. They picked up the bill, and then also the student planners that each of those middle school kids are getting this year, the PTO is funding that. So uh, without their support, be that much more difficult to, to manage the district. So we are very fortunate. Very fortunate. Um, definitely wanted to highlight a few things. We're, we're down to the superintendent's updates at this point, if you don't mind. Um, busy past the month we've had, um, even past couple weeks since our last special meeting. Um, if you notice, we have some landscaping improvements going on at the high school currently. It's ongoing. Uh, we want to thank the uh, senior class for that. They are funding that completely. Not only the removal, the cleanup, and installation of some new landscaping at the high school. You'll notice at the front entrance, uh, you'll also notice in front, you'll see some uh, flowering pears going in and some crimson maples going up uh, to tie some white and red into some nice foliage, not only um, during the summer, but fall and spring alike. So. Looking forward to those improvements there. High school cafeteria, um, if you've walked through there or seen some photos um, of the cafeteria, just heard about you'll, it. you'll notice some, some painting that was done. That was stage one. Um, we, we've got a pretty nice uh, comfort level in our cafeteria at this point. We're also adding some uh, facade at the entrances of each of the auditoriums and over top of the uh, um, the a la carte section um, of our of our cafeteria. Again, no general fund money, uh, all coming out of the cafeteria fund to, to support those improvements. Um, personnel are pretty much in place. We have a couple openings here and there. We have some, some drivers that we need to replace, and then also uh, a tutor position at the middle school, but we're, we're confident we'll have that in place by next week. Um, so they're all anxious uh, and ready to go. They've been in buildings already, and um, we're excited about having new personnel and, and seeing the veterans come back as well. Uh, custodians have been working hard. Um, they, they're really um, 
busting their tails to get this play, these places ready. Um, can't say enough about them. Uh, they jockey vacations and people that might take off for some sick leave and, and step forward. They, they lend a hand to, to help out wherever they can to, to keep the ball rolling. Can't say enough about them. We'll have these places ready to go. Um, doesn't matter the age of the buildings. We're still going to have some nice, nice facilities for people to come into. So if I make a little trip tomorrow around and thank them, be I'll be able to get in the schools. They'd be very appreciative. Yes, uh, that's what I was going to do tomorrow. Yep, yep, yep. Some outstanding work being done, inside and outside. Um, demolition work. We might want to drive back to the bus garage area. Just don't get too close. You might get shrapnel thrown at you. Um, we are starting to take roof off. If you remember, that's where we're going to position our new 10,000 gallon diesel tank um, in the third or the second bay, set of bays in our bus garage. So the roof's coming off be, to make sure that we maintain the uh, uh, wood fire marshal and Chief Hutch would want that so that we have airflow. And we're going to be able to move the gasoline tank into that area as well just to dress the bus garage area. We'll get those tanks out of sight. Aesthetically, it's going to add. And those are going to be positioned in the middle bays. Plus, it's going to lend itself to a good flow of traffic so drivers can pull up, fill their tank, move on, instead of trying to jockey around the uh, mechanics out there. So that's going to help out a lot. As regarding that issue, are we going to, just based on coming in tonight, are we going to notify middle school parents that there, you know, looks like there's going to be less space out in that parking lot, or teachers, or is there something that's going to be a red flag thrown up so we don't have total chaos? We, we are hoping to have the removal of the existing in the ground tank done and the new diesel tanks in place prior to the start of school. That's our hope. Um, but we still have five more buses, right? But those buses will be on the road as pickup and drop-offs happening. So those spots will be available unless you're talking about after hours. Obviously, those buses are going to have to be parked there. You're right. Well, I, I'm not so concerned about after hours, but when the buses are gone and people move in, uh, teachers, staff, you know, parents and that, then the buses come back. Will there be places for them to read? We have, we have to. We have to allot that. You're right. And... We don't have many spots there, but uh, we'll have to manage that. We'll have to manage that for sure. Uh, scoreboard. If you uh, if you've been to the high school, you'll you'll notice the scoreboard is down in, at uh, Bob Dove Field, and they have they started putting up brackets today. New scoreboard is in town, and that uh, should again start being um, in place uh, starting tomorrow, weather permitting. So. Uh, it, talking with um, with the company, it should should give us a couple days prior for that to, for at least to uh, to have that installed software and whatnot. So again, projecting for it to be ready. The hope was for band night next Tuesday. Um, not losing out hope there, but uh, we're um, we're hoping for for that to happen so that they can take take advantage of the new school board as well. Um, weight room. Um, the phones have been installed there. Fire alarm is in the process of being installed. And we're tying that in with the possibility of a new PA system at the high school. We are in desperate need to make sure that our staff and students are aware of events happening throughout the day, especially in the gymnasium, auditorium, and weight room. Those have been locations that have not had access to the PA system um, and notification. Our goal is to uh, address that. We're meeting tomorrow and uh, with the possibility of going out for bid for replacing that PA system in the high school. So uh, we're excited about that. Again, those funds for that replacement are going to come from permanent improvement dollars. No general fund dollars whatsoever. Band night Tuesday. I know the kids are excited. I think we have sneak peek tonight. So they're getting together at the high school tonight uh, to show their parents what they've been working on. And uh, athletics throughout the district underway. Um, tennis team, golf team, ladies. Best score we've had, I think, uh, in history was just the other day. Um, volleyball, we saw a match today at the high school. Um, football guys are loving the weather. 
Uh, two days haven't been real bad on them, but uh, and coaches. So it's soccer's underway. They had a big match. The ladies had a big match against Hathaway Brown that they that they won the other day. And our kids are just again representing us very well. Very well. So excited to get the school year started. That's it. All right. Thank you very much. I ask a question about where do we stand on enrollment? Have you, do you have any projections? Well, we're seeing people come through the buildings every day, re-enrolling. Um, we have five today alone just at Hilltop. So our numbers... Um, that re-enrolled? Or just new people? New people. New people, and we've had a couple... Uh, we have one re-enrollment today from another district. Um, you can say parochials are coming back. Okay. okay. And, and a lot of the <laughs> local... A lot of kids coming back first grade from a parochial preschool. How many do you expect to get now that we've hired Marie? How many additions? We only have one. <laughs> She's going to bring her son, so one. Um, yeah, we, we are in our lower grades, K 1 2, we're in very good class sizes. We're about 22. Uh, our upper grades, 3 and 4, we're 25, 26, 27. So we've got a bubble there. But right now, very nice class sizes in, our, in K 1 2. So. Uh, we're excited about that. Uh, we had uh, one thing I left off the list. We had safety day for our new kindergartners, and usually we're we're looking at a neighborhood of 60 to 80 kids come in for this safety day. It's it's on a Saturday morning at St. Michael's Church. They open it up for us in their in their one uh, um, banquet area, and we had we had over a hundred new kindergartners come. They, they, they are just so excited about all day every day kindergarten. Um, I don't know if the kids are excited, but the uh, they're very anxious and nervous, but the parents are thrilled, and uh, they're just excited to have that opportunity to bring, bring their kids here. So how, how has that, you know, how have we noticed enrollment since we have gone to all day? We have right around 86 at Hilltop, 88, 88 now, versus what was happening. 72 last year. And about the same at CH. So, definite increase. Uh, that meeting day for the teachers, that's a Thursday. That's next Tuesday for the staff first day. That's all staff. Okay. And you are definitely welcome to it. Yeah, I know We're going to have breakfast in the morning. Um, and uh, we'd love to introduce you folks because, again, we want to know each other here. Uh, and uh, oh, Will you still be in the auditorium about 11? Uh, we're going to be having lunch around then. You're welcome to come then. Well, I, that's the only time I can come. Please. <laughs> Definitely will. All right. So, all right. That's it. That's it. Uh, do I have a motion for adjournment? I moved. Second. Second. All right. Being adjourned. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Do we have to stay like an extra five minutes? Yes. Yeah.